is Johnny and welcome to my channel. I make art videos but for today's video we are going to do a review of the Etcher Lab sketchbook. Okay so this is the Etcher Lab sketchbook and I got this during their pre-order back in I think it was April or May and I got it at a cheaper price. It's still available now. Um, I think you can check the website to check out the prices but they sell these in bundles so every time you buy you have to buy um, a bundle of three sketchbooks so they have cold pressed and also hot pressed um, versions i got the cold press version and i think they have a good um, mix bundle wherein you can get all three sizes in a bundle so the three sizes are a6 which is this one in a5 and also an a4 so um that's good bundle if you can get all three sizes um the bundle that i got was a little bit different this is a mix of um a5 and a6 so a6 is 5.9 by 3.9 inches so it's in a landscape format and first i guess let's check out the cover so it's made of canvas and it's really nice because you can actually customize the cover and it looks very clean and very chic i love that the details are um, color gray it makes it look really really um, professional and really nice um, at first i actually thought that i wouldn't like this size because it's quite small but after doodling for a while I realized that this is a good um, size for traveling so let's check out the inside when you open it you can see this um, detail so you can write your name right here and some people even paint all over this page and then let's check out the other information so this is uh, made of 100% cotton paper um, and it is 230 gsm and 54 pages so they have um they have i think this one has 27 sheets of paper so you get 54 pages back to back and to show you the binding right here um it's really nice because when you paint you can lay it flat as you can see this is how they bound this um, journal so i think it's two um, long sheets and then they folded it uh, i'm not so sure i think it's called a signature one one bunch of paper like this is one signature if i'm not mistaken if you check the prices in their website um, if i'm not mistaken it's roughly twenty dollars for um an a6 sketchbook which i think isn't really that bad because this is 100 percent cotton paper and some sketchbooks from other brands would cost roughly almost twenty dollars as well and it's not even cotton paper so i'm really happy that we have an option for this sketchbook that it's made of 100 percent cotton paper because i've been looking for a sketchbook that is um, bound like this because you can find you can actually find sketchbooks that are made of cotton paper but they are um, ring bound and sometimes it can get a bit bulky and I like the feel of um, this sketchbook okay so I wanted to also show you the texture up close so you can see that there's a nice texture right here because this is cold press if you want the hot press version they have that too if you like painting realistic florals um i can compare this texture to the arches um, watercolor paper so i have it here as you can see the arches um, watercolor paper is on the cream side this paper from the Etcher Lab sketchbook 
is really really white and I really love it because it makes the flowers pop up that's why I love um, extra white paper when it comes to watercolor paper so let us just compare when it comes to the texture it's a little close to the arches um, watercolor paper I would say that um, arches has a bit more tooth but they're, they are almost the same and what's nice is that you can paint back to back um, one of my problems when it comes to sketchbooks is that I usually just uh, paint on one side because the back side of the paper is usually too smooth for me to paint some loose florals so I'm really happy that with this paper you can actually paint even at the back so I just did have some problems with um, the first page of the sketchbook um, I noticed that after my paint had dried um, you can notice that there are some white spots I don't know if you can see it clearly but um, after um, the, after the paint had dried, it looks like they have some white speckles right there. So I'm not sure if it's the sizing or I'm not really sure. But when I tried painting on the other page, it doesn't have the white speckles. If you can see, it looks really nice. And just to compare it with my Arches um, watercolor paper, I painted um, a similar design. It's not exactly the same, but it's a similar floral. So this is the Etcher Lab sketchbook. And this is, let me just show you. This is from, a, this, is, this one was painted using Arches. So they are actually almost similar. But, Arches is really different. I feel like Arches really produces uh, much better paintings uh, compared to other brands. But if you compare these two, they actually look similar. So I guess that's good news for us. One more thing I noticed is that this um, my paint dries faster on this paper compared to Arches. But it's not really that big of a deal. I just noticed while painting the same flowers that it seems like it dries faster on this Etcher Lab sketchbook. And I just feel like there's more character um, on the on the flowers painted on arches. So I'm pretty happy with my Etcher Lab sketchbook. Especially that it's really really white paper. So I wanted to also show you just a little um, demo of me painting on this sketchbook. Just so you can see um, the paint in action. So let's try to paint something simple. So let me just try to paint this simple filler. I'm using my Shinhan PWC um, paint and this is the Silver Brush Black Velvet Voyage in size 6. So I'm gonna make this quick because I want you, to, I want you guys to just um, observe what it looks like. sketchbook uh, my paint doesn't sit on top you know with some sketchbooks um, the the paper is made 
quite smooth so my paint just seems to sit on top but this paper it really acts like um, the usual cotton paper that they use that the paper is textured but it's not um, not to the point that when you paint a stroke you get jagged um, edges so at least with this um, paper somehow you still get a clean line even if the paper is um, quite textured let's just add some more detail So I think we're done and if you notice the blending the blending is also quite good on this paper and I also painted the peony in a different page so let me just show you so this is the peony and the, I noticed that the colors do stay the same and they don't fade because with some um, types of watercolor paper I noticed that even my most concentrated um, colors become really faint um, it, I don't know why maybe it's the sizing or I don't know it's the quality of the paper but with this paper you will notice that the colors um, are really really good even after it has dried up so you can see that the colors are still vibrant okay so I think we're done here Okay, so let's get to the pros and cons of um, this Etra Lab sketchbook. So let's go to the price first. Um, this A6 size is uh, $20. So for me, $20 is okay. I know for some people it might be a little expensive, but believe me, I've bought other sketchbooks and they would cost roughly the same price and they're not even made of 100% cotton paper unlike this one. Um, and also, I've been to Japan and I've bought several sketchbooks there. Some are 100% cotton paper and um, from what I remember, most of them would cost around 1,600 yen or roughly 16 um, dollars. And if you think about it, the, that sketchbook was really thin, just a few pages. But with this one, you get a thick sketchbook. So. I feel like $20 is a good value for this sketchbook and for me the downside would be um, that you have to buy in bundles so you would automatically have to spend almost um, $60 for three sketchbooks that's um, A6 in size but if you can find some friends who can split with you, that would be better. One other uh, pro for me, um, living in the Philippines, is that there's free shipping. Um, I know how expensive it can be to ship uh, from overseas to the Philippines. And free shipping is really good. A downside for me was also what I mentioned a while ago that the first page um, had a weird effect. <laughs> it had some white speckles on uh, my painting after the paint had dried. So I only encountered the white speckles in the first page. Um, in the next few pages, it was okay. There were no white speckles anymore. So I hope it will be like that in the next few pages. ask me if this is worth the $20 I would say yes um, it's really worth it and I'm happy that we have um, we have more options for 100% uh, cotton sketchbooks because I have had a hard time before 
when it came to sketchbooks because they were all too smooth for me. At least for this, you can get two uh, versions. You can get the cold press and you can also get the hot press. So that's really good for me. And I guess for other people who are painting some realistic florals, because I guess it's also difficult to find a hot pressed version for the sketchbooks. So my only wish, I guess, is that I hope they can make a square shape um, sketchbook. That would be just perfect. Um, I'm gonna show you my caddy journal. So I know you've seen this a lot on my Instagram and also made a review for the caddy paper. So this is the A6 and this is the 8x8 um, caddy paper. So I think if the uh, Etra Lab made a square shape sketchbook, it would definitely replace my caddy paper because I love the square shape of the caddy paper. Um, but sometimes there are techniques that are difficult to do on caddy paper and I guess it would be nice if um, there will be a 100% cotton paper for a square shape um, sketchbook. So for beginners, if you just want to practice, I would suggest getting the caddy journal first because it's only $6 and you can get it at Jackson's Art. I think the price is also good for the caddy paper for practice. But if you have um, extra budget, then I would suggest getting an upgrade. So I would suggest getting the Etra Lab sketchbook. You can get the bigger one, which is the um, A5. I think the A4 is quite big. It's I had I had a an A4 um, sketchbook and it was too big that I couldn't actually bring it outside whenever I wanted to paint at a cafe. So for me, this is a good um, size, the A5 one. So I hope that this video helped you in deciding whether this sketchbook is for you or not. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next videos. Bye!